Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and a few months after I covered three awesome portable USB-C SSDs for your new Mac, I have one that makes those feel like toys. This is the G Technology Mobile Pro SSD. Now it's interesting because G Technology, just like SanDisk, is actually a subdivision of Western Digital. So all these drives are somewhat brothers and sisters or cousins or something along those lines, uh, but they're great nonetheless. This may be the fastest mobile drive on the market, boasting speeds up to 2,800 megabytes per second or 2.8 gigabytes per second. You will need Thunderbolt 3 to actually achieve these speeds, so any of your USB-C Macs, iMacs, or MacBooks will work, uh, but not all of your Windows laptops that have USB-C will work. It has to have Thunderbolt 3. You can pause at any of these specs that you see here on the packaging. It does have some shock protection, which is kind of in the nature of SSDs in general. They're much less likely to be damaged by dropping them. When I mean, you take a look at the drive itself, I actually think the design is pretty striking. The main construction is hard plastic. It's got a matte material, which is pretty smooth. Then we have a silver top and bottom, some screws that give it that industrial rugged look, which I'm a fan of. I think it looks pretty cool. Makes it stand out a little bit, and I definitely look at the screws a lot just because it is different. You have the G logo as well as the Thunderbolt icon down below, and then some grills with some blue accents underneath. I think it is a pretty clean design, and I really don't have any complaints with how this looks or feels, so that's good. Now what really differentiates this from the SSDs we took a look at uh, a few months ago is that this thing does not offer that extreme portability that the previous drives did. Whereas the previous drives, while those things were absolutely tiny, you could fit them inside the little micro pocket inside of pants or really you could fit them anywhere, this is more of a conventional hard drive design and size. In fact, it's basically a mix between my Anchor SSD enclosure and my Western Digital 4TB hard drive. So nobody will be buying this exclusively for its extreme portability. That will be reserved for the other SSDs that we looked at, but this is four to five times faster than those drives, and that is why somebody would buy this. Now, because of its bigger size, it is not appropriate that it would have a tiny USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 cable uh, like the other SSDs had, because this can't really dangle from your computer. It would likely damage the connectors on either the drive or on your computer, and it would likely also fall out. So appropriately, G Technology included a longer, very flexible cable to go along with this drive, so you can have it sitting on your desk, and you don't have to have it dangling from your computer. Uh, but which definitely is a factor because this is too heavy to dangle from your computer whereas with the other SSDs that we looked at you could and I do all the time let those just hang from my computer this is a different story and based off the speed test that I took it was indeed around 2100 to 2500 megabytes per second I haven't gotten it to live up to the 2800 megabytes per second which is an extreme speed but this is still pretty good at around 24 to 2500 megabytes per second which is crazy because that is on par or faster than the new 2018 MacBook Pro's SSDs which were very well known for just being stupidly fast SSDs in a computer what's awesome about this is that you can add storage to your computer keep the same speeds but not have it tied down so if perhaps you regretted not getting enough storage early on with your computer, you can actually save some money by buying this drive separately, and you're going to maintain the same speeds, and you can interchange it between computers, and it's actually a pretty beautiful thing. So editing 4K video is definitely extremely possible with this, and in fact they even tell 8K multi-stream video being able to be edited on this, and I believe it because it has the same speeds as the new MacBook Pros. The one downside is that it is expensive right now. It's a relatively new product. It's kind of bleeding edge technology right now. It's, it's super fast, matched by very few, maybe Samsung's X5 drive. So it will go down in price over time, but right now it is pretty pricey. And I wouldn't recommend this per se over the other drives unless you absolutely are dependent on that speed. And this is likely going to be for creative people or anybody who works with either large files or very complex files. Either way, this takes in the shape of a hard drive, but of course has no moving pieces, is extremely, extremely fast, and will be great for any workflow that needs a fast drive. Not crazy portable, it's still certainly pocketable, which is a nice feature about it. Um, and it is, of course, durable but not for everybody right now, but the price will most definitely drop down. Now, unfortunately, right as I started to export this video, the drive decided to start 
ejecting randomly. It would come back in and out, uh, but it was really frustrating because it obviously shouldn't happen just sitting on my desk. I've seen some reviews say the same thing. It hasn't been a huge issue for me, but I have noticed it a couple times, so I figured it's worth mentioning. I'm sure G Technology will take care of this issue soon, though. Let me know what you think of this drive. Let me know if there are any other SSDs or drives you want me to take a look at, and I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.